but this Mother's Day is technically my first Mother's Day, so it kind of, um, I guess, opened up some some things, <laughs> I guess. Hey guys, it's Nay, and I'm back with another Pregnancy Diaries video. This one's going to be a little different. This has, I feel, more to do with outside things that I'm dealing with rather than actually going through pregnancy. Or I guess it coincides. Yeah, so uh, let's get into it. Mother's Day came and went. Typically, I really haven't fully celebrated Mother's Day in a really long time. Usually I'm with you know, someone else's parents, like my friend, or... Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much just always with my friend's mothers. But this Mother's Day is technically my first Mother's Day. So it kind of, um, I guess, opened up some... Some things, <laughs> I guess. So... Pretty much, I haven't I haven't talked to my mom in a really long time. I guess this being my first Mother's Day and me going through pregnancy, this is typically the time that you would have your mother around. Um, you would have them here to answer, you know, any questions that you might have of going through pregnancy, of raising a child, of going through stories of raising you. Um, and I kind of, I guess, felt. A, a loss of that and it's not necessarily that I oh this is gonna sound kind of fucked up it's um it's not that I necessarily want my mother around it's not the void of my mother that I'm feeling it's the void of the idea of having a supportive mother figure with me during this time Granted, I do have to, I have to shout out the people who are helping me, my aunt, and you know, just people in the family who have basically made it known, hey, if you need anything, we're here. But it's also, you know, no one's ever going to fill that role of your mom, you know? That is someone that is supposed to be here for me during this time. It's someone that I should be able to open up to about all of this. And it kind of sucks not having that. <sighs> uh, personally, I didn't consider this my first Mother's Day, but a lot of people on social media have contacted me and told me congratulations and happy Mother's Day because I am pregnant so I am a mother um, even if the baby is not physically out of me yet and um, that was that was nice to hear but I, I don't think I was prepared uh, for it now granted um, I do I do want my daughter to know her grandmother. Uh, I do want them to have a relationship. I don't want. I don't want the things that have happened between me and my mother to get in the way of her possibly having a relationship with her grandchild. I don't think that's fair. You can't bring your issues into a completely different relationship um, just because of how you feel. I guess the only thing is, you know, when is that going to happen? Because clearly I haven't told my mother. I'm, I'm sure she knows because everybody in the family knows and she does talk to them. But, you know, I haven't contacted her myself to tell her. And I'm also at the point where I don't, I'm not comfortable with having her around right now. I mean, I've definitely talked about it. I've talked about it to people about whether I am going to tell her or not. And my answer has just always been not right now. Uh, I this this is probably not the time for me to try to rekindle that relationship um, and to be honest I I don't think it ever will be 
I know that a lot of people say, you know, for, you know, forgive and forget and my issue with that is how can you forgive someone for something if they're still denying that they were ever wrong or that they ever did wrong to you and to be honest even if I did forgive her I don't I don't see I don't see there being a a fixed relationship you know I don't I don't see it being water under the bridge and we move on and continue we never really had that great of a relationship in the first place so for me it's kind of I've already lived without this so I'm gonna continue living without this but I also can't have that kind of mentality because now I am bringing a child into the world but I I don't know I do know that it's it's not gonna be the type of relationship I should have with my mom you know it's it's gonna be strained I mean I am I am pretty good at putting my emotions to the side and just moving on but that is also me allowing myself to be put back in a situation that I don't want to be in and I don't ever want to be in here's the thing with forgiveness some people don't deserve it and for me she doesn't deserve it now I do want to say because I know everyone's gonna say that oh you know for you know not forgiving her is gonna be a toll on your own soul it's gonna it's gonna be something that you're gonna carry with you all the time and it's gonna be a burden and forgiveness is more for you than than for the other person I guess my thing for that is I've come to terms with the fact that she is never going to be the type of mother that I want or the type of mother that I need or needed and I do forgive her for that you know she's only human we have these high standards of how people are supposed to be your parents are supposed to be perfect she was not but there is a line that you don't cross I feel when it comes to parents and a child and she crossed that and there's no going back from that for me again I'm gonna say it's not her necessarily that I miss and it's not it's not her necessarily that I am missing or that this void is missing this void is missing an actual mother and for me she was not that so even if I forgive her and and bring her back into my life I am not going to have I'm not going to have that fulfillment that I've always wanted that I've always realized was missing and that was when I had her so clearly uh, this is hard I'm trying to get I'm trying to get all my words out this is difficult it's difficult I don't know if anybody else understands like what I'm trying to say or or how I'm feeling I guess cuz um, <sighs> Mother's Day's never been really this hard for me because it's kind of just one of those days that I've skipped it's I also skip Father's Day I don't really celebrate that day either <laughs> because there isn't really reason for me to it's just you see everyone else's relationship with their mothers um, or fathers to be honest for with both parents um, and it's kind of just one of those damn that's what it should feel like right that's what that's what I'm missing and no matter what people go through with their parents, you know, because we, you know, we've all, we've all had our in and outs with our parents, we've all had our fights, but no matter what, there was always this connection and always this protectiveness, just always this, I'm your parent and I will always be with you and be here for you and love you. 
type of feeling like there's this unconditional feeling within that relationship that you can that you can feel in other people's relationship with their parents and when you see that it just puts into perspective because when you grow up with a parent that's not like that you think that you think that either this is just the way it is or maybe there's something wrong with me maybe I'm the problem until you witness other people's relationships and then that's when you start thinking to yourself what I'm feeling isn't what other people feel with their parents um, this isn't this isn't the type of relationship I th thought it was supposed to be and it kind of um it sucks it sucks I've had I've had way better relationships with other people's mothers than I have with mine and there are just certain situ situations that I've gotten into with my mother that I know wouldn't have existed with a normal mother and daughter relationship. I don't have a normal mother and daughter relationship. And that's that's what that's what really bothers me. Because no matter what you go through with your parents, you want to have a relationship with them. You want to you want to have somebody there that's gonna unconditionally love you and be there for you now I know I can't say that my mother does not love me it is a very different kind of love it is a very toxic kind of love it's not the type of love anybody needs in their life or wants to have in their life and that's kind of where I'm at with all of this it's been it's been years, it's been almost as long as Andre and I have been together because our real falling out happened at the beginning of Andre and I's relationship. So it's been a long time. Um, we've come in contact with each other. We're both, you know, civil. We act like everything's normal. But the thing is, it's not. It's not normal because after this meeting, I'm not going to talk to you again. I'm not going to search to talk to you again. That's literally just for the sake of family and there is a get together and you happen to be here and I happen to be here and I'm not going to cause problems and you know, you're not going to cause problems. But how does that how does that work? How does that work when I'm technically supposed to be sharing my child with you? There's a lot to unpack. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack. Um, I didn't really want this to be a long video. I just kind of felt like this. <sighs> I pretty much want to document everything that I'm going through emotionally and physically throughout this pregnancy. And um, this is kind of just what I'm feeling right now because it does, it does suck to not have my mother here supporting me. Yeah, it's just, it's hard. <sighs> you know, this choice was easy for me to make because, you know, I am the one in control of my life. I am the one who can decide who is in it and who isn't. I can decide what's best for me, but at the end of the day, there is another human being coming into this, and you know, how do I, how do I not taint her relationship with her grandmother when I don't want to be around her grandmother, <laughs> or trust her for that matter? As I said, this is a lot to, this is a lot to unpack. It's a lot of
feelings. Uh, when I did find out it was a girl, it was pretty much um, a blessing because it feels like the universe is giving me a second chance. My mother didn't have a great relationship with her mother. I mean, they're fine now so far as I know, but it definitely wasn't as bad as my relationship with my mother. So it almost feels like this is a chance for me to break that cycle because I've always wanted a mother figure. I've always wanted my mother figure, not anybody else's. And I think that's where my problem always lies is that I wish I had someone else's mom. And I have, I've had, I've had, I've had other people um, who've had to take care of me, who basically stepped in and been And, you know, been there for me when I needed them. But at the end of the day, they're not my mom. And they're always, they have their own kids, you know. They're going to always put their kids first. And that's why I say that you can never really replace your mom. Because there's just this unconditional you are my child, I will do anything for you, I will put you above everybody and everything that I'm not going to get from someone else's mom, you know? I'm not their responsibility. They have their own kids to look out for, so why would they go out of their way for someone who isn't their child? And, you know, I can't blame them for that. I can't blame them for me not having that person. And I want to be that person for my daughter. I really, really, I want to do right by her. I don't ever want her to feel this feeling. This like unwanted feeling. I don't ever want her to ever go through that. So there's a part of me that's really scared. That's really scared because you have people who say I don't want to be like my parents and then they turn into their parents. I mean, I guess the first step is always realizing what the issues are. And I, I know what the issues were in my relationship with my mother. So hopefully that's something that I can work through, bring to, bring to the table and Uh, I know I'm probably all over the place. This is... I want to say this is more for my benefit than anything. <laughs> but I know that there are a lot of other people that feel this way, who've gone through this, who have to sit through Mother's Day listening to everybody else talk about how wonderful their mothers are. And it's just like a constant reminder that you have this hole. Granted, a lot of us are strong. We've gone through it. We've made we've made it this far. We, you know, we've made ourselves into the impossible. Because there are some situations that people are in that were definitely worse than mine. And they come out. And there's just this beauty, this strength. But even though you went through that, you were able to put yourself back together and move forward and not let this be something that haunts you. But at the end of the day, there's always gonna be that little that little twinge, you know, in the back. It's not something you're ever gonna forget. 
you know, it may be something in the back of your mind. But that's way, way off in the distance. But there's always something that brings it up and you remember. And I feel like that's the tough part. Is remembering that. Some of us lose our mothers because of natural disasters. And some of us just didn't really have a mother in the first place. But that is a relationship that is supposed to naturally occur. It's a relationship that you're supposed to have with your parents. But not everyone is meant to be a parent. Not every mother is meant to be a mom. Not every dad is meant to be a dad. And for some of us who get that shit end of the stick, it sucks. It sucks because you're going through life with a completely different perspective of what you should have gotten. But I do have to say that if my mother was any different, I wouldn't be who I am today. I don't know who I would be honestly so part of me is thankful but it just sucks <laughs> there's no other way for me to put it really um, sometimes you have to take your scars and wear them as a badge of honor you know this is what I've survived this is what I know I can get myself through I know I can depend on myself, I know I can be strong, but also maybe I would have been all of that if I did have a good relationship with my mother, right? Who's to say that her, who's to say that her failures is what made me who I am, you know? Maybe this is who I was meant to be in the first place I just fought through it and did it myself without the help of having both parents in my life you know I don't know who knows who knows how it really how it really goes I've seen people with both parents end up really fucked up so <laughs> I don't know. So that's how I pretty much spent my Mother's Day was just going through all of this mentally. Should I bring my mother into the picture? Should I not bring her into the picture? Am I doing my grandchild a disservice? Personally, I don't believe in tainting everyone else's relationship with my feelings. Especially if it's only something that I'm going through or feeling. My mother has also shown that she is not worthy of my forgiveness. Even after all this time, she's still the same person. She hasn't changed. I was really hoping that she changed. I really hoped, you know. Because a lot of the times, bad parents, as they get older, they realize their faults and they try to fix it. That's usually why people tend to mend their relationships as they get older but still seeing the same person um anywho <laughs> i know this video is probably going to be disorganized as hell let me know if you did like it are you as well going through the same situation and how did you get through it um did you and your parent end up fixing things are you know things still estranged did you try and it didn't work like i don't have a lot of people to really talk to about this because so far everyone i've known hasn't really had that horrible of a mother so like and subscribe <laughs> let me know if this possibly helped you at all and to all those who had to sit through mother's day 
in silence. We're all here. There are a lot of us that feel the same way. You're not alone. <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully the next video will be <laughs> not as depressing as this one, I hope. But thank you for listening. If you are still listening. <laughs> and um, I will see you at the next one.